really? It's like being back in Adam hockey. The only thing difference is mom and dad's not dropping you off. Stanley! Hey! You gonna do this? Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. That's how 16% of coronavirus cases get transmitted, buddy. Are you serious? That's how Boris Johnson got it. My biggest problem with the novel coronavirus, as it's properly named, was keeping up with all the reading. You have any idea how many conspiracy theories needed to be fact-checked? I don't have any sniffles. I, you know what? I, don't even, I haven't even worn a mask. I've had measles, mumps, strep throat, and shingles. BD and gonorrhea. Still standing. You just haven't been in a room where coronavirus is airborne, obviously. Airborne? What do you, what do you mean you're airborne? Or you could have been fatuous. Fatuous? Yeah. What's that? It means you don't get it. No. Oh. No, I didn't get it. Exactly. Touche. Nikki. There's Nikki. This could be the end of days, as predicted by Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, or Luke chapter 21, verse 25, or really all the revelations. And we still haven't won a championship. Hey, Mickey. McMahon. The Mixer. McMack Paddywhack. How you doing? Guys, it's a home game. Black Sox. Jesus H. Christ. Even if the world is coming to an end, we can still look like a team. Social distancing on the bench. So six feet apart, no showers. We can't hang around afterwards. This is gonna be fun. Thanks, Dad. Call you later. Hi, Mr. Sweetman. Just like back in Adam, eh? Can your dad usually drop you off with your equipment? See you, Pops. What? My car's in the shop. You have no idea how much I've missed hockey. More than Brad Marchand has missed licking people's faces. More than the Coilers have missed the playoffs. More than Canada has missed the Stanley Cup. And it's been 27 years. I'll tell you what, man, it gets tiring making up all these excuses to get out of the house for an hour. <laughs> you got a legit one now. <laughs> now I got a fucking yes. legit one. <laughs> What's up with you? Uh, work sucks. I haven't flown since March. Well, except for one flight. This Japanese couple wanted to conceive their child during a lunar eclipse on the top of Mount Temple. <laughs> so they paid me a crap ton of money to fly them up there for 20 minutes. Oh, did you stay and watch or what? No, they're lucky I came back for them, to be honest. <laughs> I went for a little fly around while they were doing their business. What about you, Stan? I hate this COVID thing, you know what? It's terrible. What's gonna to happen today if I smear somebody out in the boards? Oh, maybe that's okay, because I'm fatuous. Pardon? <laughs> Tommy, you try to make Stan sound stupid again with big words? The word's only seven letters long. <laughs> Fatuous, foolish and inane, especially in an unconscious, complacent manner. So where's Bo? <laughs> Bo, you won a scratch and win for a hundred grand. Took off to Thailand. Someone told him he can retire there for the rest of his life. <laughs> Living the good life, no <laughs> hockey. On a hundred grand? Yeah. He'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> Let's go play some hockey, boys. All right. Mask up, fellas. I don't have mask. Oh, I got you covered, Dan. You're serious. You have to be safe, Stan. We all have to be safe. Yeah, I run. Come on. Yeah. Thanks, Ron. Sorry, guys. Ref tested positive for COVID. Game's canceled. Fuck! 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 God must be a baseball fan. Tommy, can I get a lift? Are you going home, Rolly? Hell no. <laughs> Tell Janice the games are three hours. They got to be three hours. Plus, she's organizing the pantry. I'm not going back there. Hey, let's go to the pub, stay on the street. Yeah. I'm not going to the pub dressed like this. They're not going to let us in like this. Okay, any other ideas? 
We go to the park and play bocce. I got a set of bocce balls. Uh, any other ideas? I also have beer. Ah. Hi, man. Okay. You got beer. Let's do it. Sure. All right, boys. Bocce. It's the perfect COVID sport. We're outdoors. We're distanced. When was the last time you cleaned your balls? Hey, don't, don't, don't do that. Nobody's touched my balls in a very long time. They're fine. <laughs> then they should be blue. <laughs> We're guys. So, you know, ball jokes. All right, we got to split into two teams. What's it going to be? Me and Rolls? Me and Mickey, the lion and the lamb. This here is called the jock. I'm gonna chuck it down there. Closest person to it, that team gets a point. All right? There we go. You guys go first. Lawn bowling. I feel like I should be using a walker. <laughs> well, it does seem like we're wearing diapers out here. I could use a diaper. What happens if I gotta take a piss? First. <laughs> Too much lube on the balls. Speaking of lube. Oh, this ought to be a good segue. Oh, just bear with me here. So, I get home from walking the dog yesterday and my wife is waiting for me at the front door. I'm not even in the house yet and she's shaking her empty bottle at me, accused me of using up all her good lube. The good lube? What's that? Self-pleasuring? If you guys don't. Don't you just use hand lotion like the rest of us? Conditioner in the shower. Fuck you. Anyway, this is good stuff. She gets it from Deb, the sex toy lady, for 20 bucks a bottle. But she's standing there. I'm standing there with the dog, just in front of the door. She's reaming me out about it. What we don't see is the FedEx guy standing right there. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's delivering to her. No kidding. But the funny thing is, he says it's not the weirdest thing he's ever heard. <laughs> so wait a second. You said she confronts you after you come back from walking the dog. Yeah. How long do you walk the dog for? I don't know, about an hour. How often do you walk the dog? Every night. <laughs> Interesting. You're out walking the dog for an hour every night, and she's at home. <laughs>